Hello people and welcome to another GUI tutorial. It's Sir Mr. Cherries here and today we're just um, I'm going to be teaching you about buying something from a store. So it's kind of like uh, how to make a shop GUI in a way. So um, I want to be able to buy an item off the shop. So um, to do that we're just going to make it GUI based and not you know modeled based. So um, first off, we're gonna create a leaderboard because we need the uh, we need the money to buy the item that we're gonna buy. So we're, so I'm gonna be scripting it um, without a free model. So it's basically I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be doing it the easier way. So I'm gonna do game dot players dot player added for when the player joins connect function p which means player so and then we're going to we're going to make integer values without using any values so um how we do that we're going to do local stats equals so the operator instance dot new and then in brackets and in speech marks int value basically what it's called that's an integer value but we call it int value for short then next you do stats dot name because we're going to name the integer value leader sats leader stats though I just say leader sats or stats I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that you know my English ain't so good so and then we're going to put the int value into the players so how we do that we do stats dot parent, so that, you know parents the workspace p, which which will go into the player, and then it uh, creates a leaderboard. And then um, we're going to make another integer value, which is going to go into the leader stats integer value. So to do that, local money. So do the same as that instance dot new. Zoom in. So you guys can see better. Not sure if you if you can see better. I, I'm sure you can see better when I'm just scripting. Instance dot new int value in speech marks and brackets. Um, money dot name. You can either call it cash or money, whatever you call it, or gold or credits. You can name it whatever. You can name it whatever you like, but you're gonna have to edit the shop GUI with that as well. So that it can uh, find what what you're gonna spend, or what kind of currency you're gonna be spending with. <clears throat> so um, money dot value. This is how much money we start with when we join the game. We're gonna be starting with fifty, because we'll be buying something. Then we do money dot parent. We're not gonna put in p because that will put in the player and it's not gonna work. We want to put in the leader stat. So to do that. You just put stats. Easy. So we're gonna um, go into play solo. So it should uh, the leaderboard should come up. Oh yeah, there we have it. We got fifty money. So there we have it. So we reset it. So let's just call this uh, leaderboard. So um, if you made a shop GUI and you don't have a leaderboard, then it's not gonna work. So make sure you have the leaderboard and the shop GUI with that as well and also the item what you are buying so um, I'm gonna get a free model out of this and then we're, I'm going to um, oh, put Bloxy call I'm gonna put into replicator storage because that's where I put my tools in here uh, you can do that for lightning as well but you're gonna have to edit the game dot replicate storage into game dot lightning so um, yeah we'll do the GUI though so that's the main thing we're gonna be doing so we'll call that oh shop GUI. Then we'll get a frame. Call it shop frame. So I'm gonna qu uh, quickly do this. So, uh, we'll do two hundred by six hundred. And then I'm going to position this 150. There we have it. Let me just make this a bit smaller. 
So I'm, I'm going to be taking time, guys. So um, I guess I guess there's no point watching this. So you can skip that part if you like, because I've done a tutorial of doing an open and close. So yeah, I'm, I'm possibly going to skip this part though. So it's actually no point. All right, guys. So I've done the shop GUI. Um, well, just just not the whole thing of it. I just done the button and that. So um, I've done this on my previous GUI tutorial. So if you haven't seen it, go back to that tutorial and. Uh, you'll you'll learn stuff about that. So I'm um, I'm just gonna play in solo mode for a minute. For those of you that haven't seen uh, my uh, opening and cl uh, closing tutorial, it's something like this. Yeah, I forgot to make this visible. <laughs> so it tells you to open the shop, and then it changes to close shop, wh which you have the frame right here. So you close that, and it's gone. So um, if you haven't seen it, just go back to my tutorial and have a look at. It. All right, now. Um, inside shot frame, we're going to insert a text button so that we can, uh, you know, buy something. So let me just uh, decorate that button. Just going to make it white. Make the border pixel a bit, a bit big. Right, so then I'll position it. Round 10. Oh, and um, you, you can put multiples of buttons, but you're going to have to like um, re-edit them a bit. You have to edit the cost the, um, and the item that you are buying as well. Oh, and the button which you are looking for. So you need to put numbers uh, beside um, a button. So uh, say, say, um, say like, you know, this is item one. That's the first button. And if you're doing another, uh, another button, for example, Oh, sorry, but I'm screwing up. So if you put another one in here, you're going to have to put item 2. But I will tell you about it in a minute because you might not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so um, still, let's, uh, let's do this button. That's a bit, too, uh, a bit too wide. Too wide as well. Make it 60. Actually, let me do it the other. Uh, let me do it the other way. Nine. There we go. Right now, we'll make the text a bit bigger, and then we're gonna write something like "Block C Cola Fifty Money." Uh, it's quite big. Let me just, uh, you know fit it in by doing the, the dollar sign <laughs> so yeah there we have it and then we'll just make it white okay so now we're going to insert a local script so that um, it, it can make actions for the client so it's basically what I it's basically what I prefer to use to make my GUI so like you know if most of you have never used a local script then it's possibly your first time all right, now we're going to make a repeat wait because we want to, you know, well, I shouldn't say you know a lot. <laughs> so we're going to use our re a repeat wait f uh, until so, so that we can buy the item again. So I will show you that. Oh, yeah, we got an uh, until bit. So um, inside the repeat wait, we're going to put our variables. So um, for the button, we're going to do button script dot parent and um, I'm trying I'm trying to think of something else what to put in uh, yeah oh yeah the item that we need to buy so we'll put in item ooh uh, game dot replicated storage and then a, co a comma and then we're going to put in find first child so that we can find the name of the item that has spaces I'll show you what I mean. So in brackets, you you kind of put in speech marks, Bloxy Cola. Uh, you can do stuff like uh, dot Bloxy Cola, something like that. But if you have it in spaces, then you should put in a find first child uh, kind of like thingy, whatever it is. Bloxy Cola. And uh, yeah, the cost, 50. And then the money that we need to find from the leaderboard. 
Oh yeah, um, we, we need to put in the, we need to assign the player. So we do, so at the top of this, we'll do player, game.players.local player. So you don't have to do the script.parent.parent. .parent. So it's pretty handy dandy. So now, um, do player dot leader stats dot money so that we can find the integer value into the leader stats integer value inside the player okay and then we can you know do make our function so button dot mouse button one down connect function and you don't have to put anything in here, but I would like to put something in here, maybe purchase. You know, just to tell the script what to do. So in our function, we need to tell the script what to do. So the thing is, um, you want to try and buy the item off the shop. Well, it's quite easy though. So we're going to use an if statement. So we'll do if money dot value. And then you put this bit here if you have it on your keyboard. So you press shift and then you hit that thing which you have on your keyboard. That means greater. But if you do something like this, that is, you know, lower. So if you if you put something like lower, then you get stuff for free more equally. So um yeah, we want to buy this for fifty, so we need to get over fifty before we can buy this. So if money dot value is greater and then we in brackets we put all right so that's if money dot value is greater than cost and then and then we'll put in a dash one then so there we have it and then next we're going to do money dot value equals money dot value dash that that's a subtract bit if you do something like plus then it's just going to you, you know add up the money that that you'll be collecting <laughs> so um, remember the dash because that means it'll take away all of your money well it'll take away the money that the cost has been you know I don't know <laughs> sorry guys there's something that I you know I did not want to say all right so we're gonna put in a local a so that's gonna be for cloning the item to put on the players backpack in the starter gear so we do local a equals um, item from the variable co uh, colon, whatever it's called, clone in brackets. We don't want anything in the brackets. A dot parent equals player dot backpack. So that can go on the player's backpack. And then the other bit we'll do for the starter gear. Same as that, item dot clone, but a different letter. B dot parent, player dot starter gear. So now we're going to test it, see if that works. First, we need to make the shop visible. So there we have it. And now we're going to test it. So that should work. Um, let let me pull out the output, see, uh, you know, just so I can check for problems if uh, if I missed anything out. So we open that and we buy this. So and um, yeah, there we have it. Our fifty is gone and we got the boxy color. Life's good, isn't it? <laughs> so um if this tutorial helped you then do give this a like and if you have any thoughts about the shop GUI that I've showed you or or if you want if you want me to improve something like, you know, maybe some some of the you know, you dim twos in that or tweening in that. You can you can ask me to do a tutorial with that or or I can do, well, if there's something if you're stuck on, maybe something like mm, debounces, etc., etc., I can do tutorials for you, though. But if it's something hard, you know, something like making a gun or whatsoever, or something like Leto Zinnemann's Places or, or, or a merger game, I, I can't make any of that stuff. So I really apologize. I'm not really the best scripter on Roblox. All right, well, still, still leave out a comment if you want to... Uh, if, if you have any thoughts and if you want me to do something for you, I'll be happy to do that. And um, also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos out of me. And uh, oh, um, yeah. 
So I got nothing else to say though. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all.